Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. What we are looking at right now is Battlefield 1 Alpha Access. Many thanks, Northy. We're just going to leave it at that. Uh, so today, what we're going to be doing is we're, we're going to be getting in the fight. Oh, uh, there we go. Beautiful. Do we get it? Perfect. So we're going to be playing some um, air superiority with the triplane. Now, I played all last night. Now, I saw that guy below me, but I just want to talk about this game real quick. I played all night, man. I had a lot of fun. I really do enjoy the mechanics of the uh, new dogfighting or, like, the new aircraft time. mechanics. Like, you can damage wheels. You can damage engine. Or not wheels. Excuse me. You can damage wings. You can damage your engine. And it affects your performance in the battle as well. So, let's go ahead and demonstrate that for you guys if possible. We're just going to climb up, um, hawk the area, and find a target, and then we're going to hop on him and try to take him down as fast as possible. Now, there's three different genres of planes. There's fighters, there's attackers, and then there's uh, the bomber. I'm not good with the bomber at all. That thing's hard to, like, stay up with. The attackers, just think of, like, an A-10, I guess you would say. Okay, Tango in front. Roger that. Let's just keep him in sight, see what he wants to do here. Oh, look at this dive on. Beautiful. Okay, we're on a six. You can, you can get in the cockpit too. So as you can see, you can damage wings and stuff, and it just looks awesome, and it really does... Where'd that guy go? Lost him. Now, one thing I have to mention is that you don't get a lot of kills um, being a fighter. Because... You kill the enemy so slow that by the time, or they'll they'll realize when they're about to get messed up, so they'll bail out, which is fine with me. You do get a lot of points for strafe running and all that stuff. Okay, the area is cleared. We have air superiority, and what's really nice is that um, they allowed. It's not that this plane really doesn't have a blip switch, because how these planes back then worked, at least the first ones, they didn't have a throttle. They had on or off. Pretty much like they, the pilots would turn the magnetos on for the spark plugs to fire the engine. But as you can, as you can see, if we're if we're climbing up here and I'm gonna idle the engine, well now there's music going, but it's nice and quiet. And with that, you're actually able to spot or to hear or listen for enemy aircraft. Now right now, this is kind of a poor map for um, dog fighting, just because not a lot of fighters want to come up. Uh, or like attackers or bombers because it's hard to see what you're bombing but it is really fun to stay up here and just like hawk the area all right so we are back up the fog of war is now gone we can really start to spot some enemy planes as you can see we have a zeppelin up is this ours yes okay good yeah our, our team is kind of struggling right now now let's try to find our first we have lost piece of prey button. here oh tango down low we got a fighter here okay let's be careful with this guy he is kind of damaged right now. We're going to get a good strafing. Okay, we got two guys here. Here we go. Engaging. He's much faster than... Not anymore. Hang on. Now, we did damage his right wing, which is perfect, so he can't turn. No, he's going down. There he goes. Boom! <laughs> Vehicle destroyed! That was a pretty sweet and easy kill right there. Now, after usually each kill, I kind of reclimb and uh, get my bearings back to re-engage. Maybe kind of hit this zone and come back in. Now, I saw an attack plane. Okay, it's over here. Now, it looks like he has a back, back gunner, but we're going to wait until he kind of turns and we'll pounce on him here. Here we go. Return to the combat area. He is out of the zone. We're coming back in, though. I lost him. Oh, there he is. Tango there, Tango down, there goes their empanage. I think that was two guys down. Beautiful, let's repair. Now, what I was trying to do is I was trying to stay in the gunner's dead zone so he wouldn't be able to fire at me, but he did take some hits. Now, how you do repair is that I'm using an Xbox controller, um, but you'll hold the repair button down, um, and then you'll be stationary until um, the circle fills up. And then that can repair your engine, it can repair your elevator, it can repair your... Um, Ailerons, kind of like that. All right, now let me go back to what I want to do. I just want to go over here and climb. Yeah. 
So, um, from my experience, though, I like to play third person. Um, just because it gives you a bigger field of view for engaging. Okay, we got, um, an, we got an attacker up and a bomber. No, no, we got a fighter up. Okay. We have taken Be objective. careful, I don't want to ram here. Oh, we got a dog fight now. Two versus one. Not the fairest fight, but we're going to give it to him. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Now, the bullet time and bullet travel on these guns are very poor, so you got to aim way in front of your target. Let's not hit this barrage balloon, or actually, I believe it's the, uh, the an artillery spotter balloon. Get him off our Zeppelin. Oh, our Zeppelin's going down right now. Shit. Got him disabled. There he goes. He's going down. Wow, I'm actually getting some pretty nice kills this round. Usually what happens is that, as I said before, they'll just bail out before they get into that situation. There goes the Zeppelin. Oh, shit. Oh, we got a bomber up. Shit. Yes! Got him down again. I'm getting so lucky. Sweet. Um, but the fighter's fun. Uh, but the fighter, once you like um, get air superiority for you know three games in a row, the uh, the attacker is really fun, man, because it has it's it's um, machine gun round is much more powerful. So in, if you do want to go for planes, it's much easier to kill. You're able to take out more components more quickly. And then you're able to uh, strafe ground targets much more effectively than the uh, fighter can. I think I think the its cannon round or the, its uh, guns have like a little bit of splash damage. And then you have little small I think fragmentation bombs that kill infantry pretty well. Tango down low. Oh, listen to that sound effect right there. We have taken a oh, he just he just killed himself. Oh, we got flak up. It looks like it's friendly. Now flak in this game is pretty devastating. It tears you up quick. And I really didn't like how when you got hit, uh, you couldn't really aim. But it kind of makes sense because when stuff's falling off your planes, that uh, control surface is not working anymore. So you got to use other control surfaces to take the place of that control surface that has been damaged. So bottom line, it's quite annoying when you first experience it. But after about three or four hours of uh, being in the sky, you, you get used to it and you know how to combat it. Got him. I think that's him. Come on. Where'd he go? He's still right behind us. We're going to do a stall here. I think I see a shadow. He's right to my left. There he is. There he is. Come on. Full power. Full power. Idle, idle. Come on, don't choke here. Yes! Oh, the game just ended. Alright, so we're in a new game. Not the earliest spawn, but oh, we got definite, definite air superiority right now. Now we have attacker playing to the right. I think he might have spotted us. Let's just see. Nope, here we go. Okay, we're on cooldown. He's got he's got a back gunner up right now. We're getting some really good hits into him though. There he goes. Tango down. Hopefully that's two kills right there. Yep, that's two. Now our left aileron just got damaged. So let's kind of orient ourselves so we can repair there. We have lost a beautiful run right there. Okay, we're back up. No, I saw I saw a bomber. We are losing objective dark. Where did that bomber go? He might have already killed himself, but I hear a plane kind of next to me. Okay, we're actually Oh yep, that's a friendly. We're gonna disengage, reclimb, and come back in. There's our border. Let's go ahead and pull a loop. Or an Immelman. Tango front. The triplane versus a triplane. Look how fast he's going. He's, he's gonna try to stall us up. Oh, 
Oh, oh man, we rammed him. He might have bailed. We are losing objective. Dark. Nope, there we go. We got his wings, and there he goes. Okay, let's repair it. Oh my god, I have so much fun with this. <laughs> my, am I? Yeah, my, my pilot is yelling in German. Hopefully, he's excited. Okay, now the skies are kind of clear. Let's see if we can go for a strafing run here. Not the best plane for strafing, but it does get some hits sometimes. Pulling up. Ooh. And this is why sometimes I'll rather pick the attacker. Even though it doesn't have the best fighter capabilities, it can really hold its own, especially if you have a back gunner. And once all the planes are gone, you can go in and uh, kill ground units. But the fighter's not the best for that. So we're just kind of lazily circling around trying to spot our next enemy. Air superiority has been achieved. Oh, God. That's flag. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh no. Get the hell out of here. Anti-aircraft is devastating. Okay, we're damaged. Let's go to repair real quick. Our elevator is looks like it's gone. Okay, there we go. We got full control. Now let's go for a stall climb here. Let's not get out of bounds while we while we, we repair. We have taken objective down. Come on, a little bit more. I can fight with like 80 or 94. I'll take that. Okay, back in the fight here. Okay, we got a bomber up and we got a little triplane right here. He didn't see us. Now let's go full power. We're engaging this guy. Now we really got to watch out for that flak in the middle of the uh, map. We have lost objective Charlie. Strong. Got his wing damage there. He's not gonna last too much longer. Yep, alright. Plane down, pilot bailed out, good Good dogfight right there. Now, the problem with being a fighter and having flak up is you just kind of have to avoid it all game until they're out of there. Because with the attacker, you're able to go in there and drop little small bombs on them or uh, shrapnel bombs and uh, be able to take them out. Now, let's go ahead and check the map here. I see no eye dents on the mini map. Now, if you are a ground player, infantry, tank, whatever, and you, sp and you see a plane, please spot it for the pilots in the air. It helps us out entirely because we don't have the best view up here, and if we can have a mini-map spot, that is awesome. Okay, sky is not clear. We have a, uh, looks like a Hanley Page, but it's really a Gotha bomber. On attack route here. Woo, that was a good run. He is cr ah, dang it. He's crashing, though. Vehicle disabled. Let's go for the repair again. We have taken objective Charlie. And it's kind of this in and out, in and out strategy gameplay that you really have to use to uh, to really utilize the fighter to its full potential. Now, I don't know if I talked about this already, but the spawning system in this game and how fighters spawn is that I think you get two to three. No, I think you get two from just your normal HQ that no one can cap. But there's, uh, get out of here, AA. Uh, but there's um, bases on the map that you can capture that will give you give your team an extra fighter spawn. So that's, that's really crucial to take control of the skies. Yeah, we got somebody at A using anti-aircraft. We're gonna get out of here. There's two, there's two of them. I'm gonna go team up on this guy real quick. We're on cooldown. Okay, he's gone. Now we need to fire. We need to find the other fighter. Got him in sight. Wow, that was that's the same guy. Oh, he's right. Oh fuck, he's right behind me. Going for a stall here. Pulling her. Oh, he almost rammed me. Uh, all right, let's let's go back up again. I think our friendly's on his six as well. Oh, come on, get on it. Full power. I lost him. No, there he is. Okay, full power for the uh, dive.
Got his wing damaged. He's disabled. He's on fire as well. Got him. Good fight right there. Let's go for the climb. Go for the heal. Oh, it's so rewarding, man. And what's really nice about um, fighting in the air is that, sure, the anti-aircraft is very strong. And if you're in that situation, most of the time you're going to die. But nothing's locking on to you, man. <laughs> Nothing, so nothing's locking on to you, which I love, man. Um, I don't know how the pilots in Battlefield 4 do it, uh, baiting those missiles, or, you know, they probably know something that I don't know. I didn't really play Battlefield 4 too much. I used to play Battlefield 3 a whole lot. Use the A-10 um, with its uh, air-to-ground missile and 30 mil to take out tanks. That was a whole lot of fun, but... Bottom line is, nothing is locking on to you, which I love. Dude, we, our team is holding the sky so well. We got two friendlies on this one attacker. We got his wing damage with that short a bit, that short burst. He might have... up. Oh, no, there he is. Come on, let's get those. Oh god, he, he he has a back gunner right now. Disabled. There goes one of the uh, pilots or back gunners. Another plane down. But one thing that I would like to talk about um, is that I think the uh, air and maybe even the ground. I haven't really touched ground um, units too much, or just like tanks and um, heavy tanks, light tanks, land ships. I think there needs to be diversity in what each nation has and, you know, strong and weak points that they do have. So, for example, for the fighters, maybe once, you know, let's say the French DLC is incoming, right? The SPAD's very, very quick, but it doesn't turn as well. So maybe with the SPAD, you would use boom and zoom instead of turn like the Fokker DR1 or the Sopwith Camel triplane would. I think that would add a whole lot of, uh... We're not gonna go... Oh, what? I thought I pulled up right there, but this gives me time to talk as well. I think that would uh, allow for much more engaging gameplay than just, if I see you first, you're going to die kind of thing. You know, so if I get on a, um, let's, let's say a SPAD 6, he would run away, then reclimb, then outstall me, and that kind of stuff, instead of just doing a, you know, turn battle. I would like to see that, but knowing Battlefield games, um, that's really never been done. But uh, this is a game out of any to try it out, but just a little feedback right there. Now we are waiting. Ooh, they have a Zeppelin up. I want to go shoot at it. Here we go. We got a plane. There's the Behemoth or the Zeppelin. Now we have a fighter up, but I just want to go and pounce on this guy real quick. They got two enemies up, two enemy planes up. Here we go. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Woo! Pulling around. We're gonna go for the climb and stall to get on top of him and then fire all the MGs down into his core. That's good enough. Backward stall. Not really a stall, but we'll take it. Die! <laughs> Let's shoot this part up here. Maybe there's a. Oh, no. We got an, imp uh, an enemy up here. Pull it away. Pull it away. Oh! The match bonus. There we go. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, gameplay of some dogfighting in Battlefield 1. Let me know your feedback on the gameplay that you saw today, or maybe some feedback for Battlefield and for the community on what they can do different, maybe to change up the um, meta of aerial battles in Battlefield 1. But, guys, until next time, have a great day. Peace out.